If you listen to music, songs are used to teach things. It shows the, the relationship between when it's at its best between research and uh, songs. We we had Buffy St. Marie was on the show, and she had a kid, a little boy named Cody, and she brought him back to Sesame Street and as a baby, and Big Bird was jealous. We did a, a sibling rivalry show. And I, she has a session with him, the way you do, you know, he's, nobody will read his writing and he's written this thing and he hates it. He walks away and she comes to him. The question is, what does she say? And Louis Bernstein, who was now an executive producer, was head of research then, and he sent me this monograph. It said, don't say, I'll have love, I'll have love for you. I'll have enough love for you, maybe. Because that makes it seem like you have a finite amount of love, which is me. In other words, you've got a smaller share of, the, of this love pie. You say, I have a special kind of love for you, a big bird love, and I have baby love for the baby. And, which is, and we wrote a song, we wrote a song, which was sort of like a folk song, a Buffy St. Marie song. I love you because you're yellow and tall, I love him. Because he's tiny and small. Yellow and tall love, tiny and small love. Everyone loves throughout their days different people, different ways. And it worked. It was good. I mean, at least the sociologists loved it.